Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Super Mario Maker. My cat's here. Hello, Ruka. Don't don't be mad, okay? I'll show you the cat. He he loves to be on camera. He also loves to jump on me when I wear a black shirt. Oh, unfortunately. You gotta go down. You gotta just get in the box. Half an hour of box time. Oh, you'll get all the pets you can muster, dude. Um, take me out of here. Quit. I think we were playing on Sunday, and that's why we have this endless challenge. I thought today, instead of doing endless, because we've done a few of those in a row, let's play Austin's. New levels, his woofs. Do you see, did he, you just jump on the desk? Man's out of his mind. All right, so now Austin is known as Roof. There was a little bust up. Nintendo thought Dumb Dog was a little, you know, non-gamer uh, friendly. So he changed his name. Where apparently, I've heard that these are easier. I've heard these are easier levels, at least until 2-4 or 2-5. Uh, and I love Austin's level, so let's let's give this one a try. 9% clear rate. It's, it's pretty high for an Austin level. Something strange in this tricky tunnel. Ooh. It's a something strange in your tricky tunnel. Who are you going to call? By the way, I totally covered the name or the code, as many people have mentioned on myriad occasions. I, if there was a better place for the camera, I would put it there, but I don't think there is. Like, even if you lower it, people are like, just lower it. And it's gonna be like right on top of Luigi's face. And I don't wanna put it over the coin counter. I don't wanna put it over the timer. I don't wanna put it just under the timer. Because that, that's where we're going. There might not be anything relevant there now, but there's relevant stuff there in general. You know what I, oh my God. I thought my cat opened my door. It just walked out. The door was already open. So far, pretty simple. Straightforward. Here's the thing. Austin is an astute enough gentleman to understand. Just, just, it's worth it, dude. He's an astute enough gentleman to understand that just because his level is easier than his previous levels doesn't make it worse. Feel like a lot of people, they lose the, they lose the plot there. They think, oh, this level's got a 9% clear rate. My last one had a 0 0.3. What went wrong? He knows, you know. It's it's called design, sweetheart. Look it up. I'm so upset, because, hey, hello, Tomo. We were doing so well, and that was definitely the checkpoint. But now we can set the new moon record for a speed run. You know, I love to play the Austin levels. He always gives me ideas, like my second, wow, I'm bad. Um, my second custom level was completely, 100% inspired by uh, Austin's level 1-7. Forget the actual real uh, name. Dizzy Desert, I believe. I, may I was like, you know what? What if I made a version of this but much shorter and much easier? And that's what I did. I made the level I wanted to see in the world. It's not Austin's fault, by the way, but I hate these friggin' vines, dude. Like, the vines, they just don't work that well for me. I wonder if there's a speedrun strat. He usually tests this stuff. I wonder if you could just go... Okay, maybe not. Sorry, just relax yourself. We basically, I mean, we had the halfway point of that first one. Assuming that's what the halfway point is. Why would you even want to hit the flag right off the start? Like, I was so concerned about whether or not you could, I didn't think about whether or not you should. 
It's not that the vines are like difficult. They, I just find them uh, finicky. Which is a kind of nondescript nothing word, but I basically just mean. Uh, I, I I can't. I'm not comfortable with my movement control on them yet. He's done it. But I'm sure with enough time, we'll get there. So you got bullet bullet bills. I'm supposed to jump jump on the cans, dude. You know what's funny, by the way, is that this is definitely so far like an easy Austin level. And it's also certainly, without a doubt, harder than the average expert level. I want people, anytime they see you beat a level, they always go, ooh. <laughs> can't believe we did that the first time without even noticing. They always go, this says expert? Well, that's a little easy for expert. Yeah, or have you considered, uh, I'm an expert, you're watching an expert level gamer play a game that's an appropriate difficulty for him? You ever consider that? Literally just let go of the button accidentally. It's not my finest performance, look. I'm mostly, uh, I'm, I'm frustrated because I'm dying in dumb ways that are not entertaining. When we die on 1-7, uh, over and over, I'm like, you know what? He bit me. Straight up. Pay him. Pay that man his money. When we die because I don't know how to handle vines properly, I'm just like, you know, resident snooze, but it's okay. You know what I think it is? He's in my head, dude. He's the Merovingian. He's, he already served me a slice of humble pie. And now I'm thinking... Every liter of cola has got a little bit of Austin's DNA in it. There's a few nested references there. Okay. Cannons, return to me. Send them. Send them. Send them, jump them, send them. Okay, so I mean like, come on. Phase one, done. Phase one, complete. Ooh, it's a new moon record. All, I love any opportunity. Or, oh, dude, he's even got mushrooms on this one. So lenient, merciful God. Where are we going? Where are we going with this one? Where's the variation on the theme, okay? Oh, I knew it. We, I should have known. We saw vines and cannons earlier. What are we going to see at the end? Vines and cannons, brother. A little bit of Canadian ingenuity gets you out of a jam there. Coins tell you where to go. Respect the momentum. Something's tricky in this twisted tunnel. I refuse. One of my greatest strengths in this game is I don't succumb to greed very often. A lot of individuals in Mario, little greed driven. I'm not a greed driven man. I'm mostly. That's a real, that's a real, that's a real cheesy move, Austin. I, I respect it. I love it. I wonder how many times you've watched other people play. Wonder how many times you've watched other people play this level and do the panic slide down the vine that you just witnessed from me as well. Oh, careful. 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 Just kidding. No care needed there. Oops. Oops, I'm up. Okay, halfway. That's halfway, baby. What are, what's the point of that checkpoint flag from earlier? I, I was thinking maybe he makes you go through that starting part of the level again with the little... I'm just dumb. He makes you go through the starting part of the level again with a little twist? I don't know. Honest appraisal of the level so far? I like it. I do like it. But, I don't know, dude. I, I find myself missing and and craving 
the physics-driven perfection required from 1.6 and 1.7. I think the fact that there's a little leniency, and this is not Austin's problem, this is my problem. One of many. You really just need the mushroom, but I feel like like to, to preserve the mushroom for later is what I mean. I feel like because there's leniency allowed, I'm, I'm making mistakes because perfection is... Because perfection is no longer demanded, perfection is no longer uh, expected. And that's that's my own fault. That's my own idiocy. Also, the vines, like, that's... Let's, let's try. I mean, we shouldn't need the mushroom. But... You know, it's it's like a it's like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know, after a landmark like Austin One Seven Endgame takes you three hours and twenty five minutes to beat it, and there's not a dry eye in the house by the end. You know, you need to take a little time. You need you need a little Spider Man Far From Home. You know, does it have the same world changing stakes? Perhaps not. However, it's a nice, solid addition to the universe. Do it. I hit, uh... Why don't you just move to the right, dummy? But here's what I did. I hit uh, down and jump to try to jump down. You know what down and jump equals in in most Mario games? Um, jump, which is completely sensible, to be honest. How would you jump downwards? It's like a build. So it's a walking contradiction. That is okay. So not a great Billy Joe Armstrong from Green Day impression. He does sing with a little bit of a British accent, but it's not that British accent, my man. I know there's no oh, there's no British accent. Oh, have you know there's a dozen of them. Get off your freaking high horses, ex-colonial overlords. Okay, just go to the right, forehead. Okay. I mean, why didn't you do that the first time? Great question. You gotta go red pipe. It's the only explanation. Oh, it's over. Okay. Good level, Austin. Solid level. I give it a Spider-Man Far From Home out of 10. Not every level can be emotional, put you through the ringer. I did an embarrassing job here, um, and I apologize. That was not, not my finest performance. But I think, to be honest, as, as crazy as it might sound, sometimes I think I do better at, a difficult, at more difficult levels. At least my performance is better, not to say I beat it any faster. 4% clear rate, no ghosts here, but that doesn't mean something won't pump out of the dark. Wow. <laughs> Boa blackout. Sometimes I think I do better at uh, at harder levels. Because you're just more focused, you know what I mean? It's like in video games. Oh, I love the tutorialization. It's so elegant, dude. It's like in video games. A game that's too easy is almost harder to play perfectly versus a game that's just hard enough because the game that's just hard enough keeps you engaged keeps you focused keeps you expecting consequences for your actions the game is too easy you know like no matter what i'm gonna be fine ha ha i love he loves this he loves to give you a little taste of what's coming And then force you to remember it. It's, it's, it's got Austin's DNA all over it. Cool idea, brother. What's going on on the right side? I heard a little tucka tucka on the right side there. Okay. Probably the sub area. Dude, I really thought we were, we were in for the sight read there. That's my bad. I thought we had a chance. This is what I mean, though, you know. Sometimes I think that... The, uh, the harder jumps are, or the harder levels are actually a little bit easier to focus on. 
little close on that one. That's okay. Never hurt anybody. Ooh, you were mere microseconds away. This is one you you go 4% clear rate? Come on. I mean, maybe we haven't seen the big linchpin obstacle yet, but you're like, come on. Four percent. Not good. Not terrible. <laughs> That's right. I've seen everybody's favorite television program, Chernobyl, at least episode one. We're still going, boys. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Definitely almost screwed that one up pretty badly. The thing is, the blocks are there, if you believe. I don't necessarily think you need to be hitting the, the lights in all circumstances. A second checkpoint. Wow. May I see, uh... May I see what's happening? Okay. It's a saw. So, Austin, everything he does is for a reason. You know, it's like... Track one off of, uh... Radiohead's Magnum Opus Kid A. Everything is in its right place. He would not put the switches there. Were it not to either make something happen in the level, like maybe that forced things to be in a proper, like a set position for him, or alternatively, because there will be switches approaching later that he wants you to pay attention to. See what I mean? It's a great level so far, my man. I'm having a wonderful time. A little bit more my speed. I don't know. Yeah, are we in a sub area? Is he dropping us onto the checkpoint? Oh, baby! All right. Just when I thought you couldn't be any stupider. Whip. You go and do something like this and totally redeem yourself. Did I not hit his last level with an I like it, by the way? If so, I apologize. I'll go back and check. It was a pretty decent time for a first try, too. All right, Wolf 2-2, two, two, Boa Blackout. I like it more than the... Uh, Oh, can I not hit it with an island? I don't know. It's, I forget how you do it. More info, maybe? Casper. He's absolutely right. Liked by... Cleared by me. Yeah. Right? Liked by... Yeah, I liked it. Okay. Did I, li did I like his first level? I feel like you just play it and then hit the start button. First cleared by H.C. Justin. All right, we don't we don't need to look at all that stuff. Um, woof, two, three, busy belts. Precision, speed, precision. Oh, so I in the one ones like the world ones. I love one one. It's the best level. Oh jeez, um, one uh, one three. The musical level, also very, very fun. 1-4, the puzzle level, made me want to die. But, uh, only because of my tiny brain. 1-6 and 1-7 are both masterpieces that dare not be mentioned again because of obvious reasons. Um, I, you know, I don't think we can safely critique all of the... Levels without talking about them in the same world, you know? 2-2, two, two, I prefer to 2-1 so far, but I gotta tell you, I love the music, dude. The music informs what I do here. This music go fast, so I go fast. Oh, I believe. I believe 100%. The road to greatness, oh no, is paved with mushrooms. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you. Don't you. Okay, okay, okay. I was worried my man was going to drop something on me. I love it. Is this a two checkpoint? It is a two checkpoint. Another mushroom for me? You shouldn't have, brother. Oh, jeez! Don't understand. Don't understand what I should. Okay, do oh, we were so close. You had the P block, you go to the end. That was almost the rare first try. Okay. And again, the first try is not because Austin like I'm not beating Austin here. 
My man is extremely capable of making levels that'll ruin your night. He's done it on many occasions to me. <laughs> One. I bet it's easier to just... Look at how many X's are there, dude. I bet it's easier to just jump over him. Uh, like, to actually do the cycle over and over. But he, he's relying on you getting mind flooded there. Which is... Oh, we, we made it past the hard one, too. That's the hard... That's the... It's the tricky part. Like, I bet it's easier to just go yeah, To go yeah. Maybe not. I actually think a crouch jump might work better there. You could also just go slow, or you could just be better forehead. Speaking of uh, going slow. One more. One, uh, two more, baby. Two more. MacBook Pro, baby. MacBook. MacBook Pro, baby. Hey, I'm dumb. Hey, dummy. Why don't you just spin jump on the freaking spike like he taught you to do 20 levels ago? I actually don't know if it works like that. Because these are not the same dudes. These dudes have pointy heads. Oh, it totally works. Gets a little touchy after the first one. Still. Now, you might be saying, NL, you beat this level. How many how many wolves are you going to beat on this stream? My intention is to do 2-1 to 2-4 on this stream. 2-5. I watched him create. It's a, it's a masterwork of malevolence. It's a menagerie of misery. It's a boulangerie. That's just a bakery. But what does it bake? Nightmares. And they're not gluten-free either. Yeah, just uh, just bad, just bad moves there. So two four. It's about as far as I'm willing to go there. Sorry, I briefly had Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde moment. I don't want to be known as a streamer who does weird mouth things with his mouth. Just send them. <laughs> you disembarked from the right side of the subway train. You gotta disembark from the left side of the subway train. Please keep your hands inside of the vehicle at all times. Hey, brother, you mind if I play through? Going a little slow for my tastes right there. Hit him with one of those. Okay. Ah, immediately. Immediately prove that anything I've done successfully in this episode, maybe even in the whole series, has been an accident. He's done it. He's done it. He's free. I refuse. Gunk. Alright, good level. 1-3? Probably the best of all the levels. I don't know, I like 1-2 as well. I mean, I don't dislike 1-1, one, one, but it's like 2-3, 1. Hit that with an I like it. Because you know what? I like it. Big money. Big prizes. I love it. 1.66% clear right now. We're talking. Platformality. Collect every 50 coin for a bonus challenge. It's not the way I live my life. Oh, it's, it, there's your level code. I could get better at doing that. I apologize. Just, just find Austin's Twitter account. Get his maker ID. Oh, I love it. Elegant. Delicate. Okay. Okay. See? Like, I look at a screen like this, I just get it. My old platforming brain, just it makes the route for me. I like a level with bonus, like, make your own challenges. Still going, huh? As long as we don't go for the 50 coin because I'm a coward, I know that we're going to be able to make it in time. I also love that Austin, he's got good pipe theming. He makes sure the pipes, or well, maybe actually he doesn't have to do that. That hurt. That should have been an easy jump. 
Um, he makes sure the pipes match colors, although I'm pretty sure they have to match colors to begin with. As soon as I saw a red pipe instead of a door, I was like, we're set, brother. Oh, beauty. Oh, we should also note, um, I don't think I'm doing better than average here. I think that probably the clear rate is really low because some people, when given an optional challenge, make their life harder. And that's fine. The world will always need the 50 coin army. Uh, I am not a member of that. That's half of a one up. I would prefer to just. Fair enough. I prefer to just preserve my lives. But uh, it, I mean, it depends on the situation. You're going to put a dangle of 50 right in front of me. I'll jump at it. Then when I get stuck in uh, a pit that I can't get out of, I'll hit the skip and boo button. It's a very embarrassing way to die. But you know what? I've been very well trained from Austin's previous levels. No frustration will be garnered this early because everything's going hunky dory. You know? If you're not dying a hundred times. Whoops. <laughs> if you're not dying a hundred times at the same obstacle, you're probably feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good right now. Dude, any day I get to record Mario Maker, I'm feeling good. Because even when I die, it's entertaining. Some games, would you believe it if you only know me from Mario Maker? I end up having to apologize for dying in games. Who would have thought? I'm finally starting to get it, that it's fun to watch me die in these games. Ooh, ooh, that was close. That was a close one. I like, I, I don't like it. I love it. For all the marbles. He's right. You just don't know when to quit, do you? No, 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 that's fine. That was... I, I got excited. My brain thought that the... Uh, that the tape was right there. And I didn't... I didn't rely on my eyes. I relied on my memory. Yep. I didn't really want to go for the coin. Uh, but I actually just thought that maybe the coin is a safer path than the critical path, but... A little bit of debate on that issue, as Daniel would say. Also, if you ever slow down, you're getting the coin. Oh, good stuff. <sighs> Way too slow. Failed like six jumps. And they're well, not hard jumps, they're just moving your knees against the ground. Again, not against, you know, you're, you're using, you're, you get the idea, you're pushing the ground away from me. It's uh, F equals MA, okay? Very dumb. Very, very dumb, very bad. Those are the two things that embody that performance right there. I know, I love I've been looking down like the whole episode too. Ashamed of my play in previous episodes, but also... Indicative of not having the greatest posture. So spread it out like this. Always feel self-conscious. I wear a lot of the same shirts on camera. I just gotta tell you, I'm doing a lot of laundry this week. And when I do the laundry, the shirts, they go up in the rotation. You know? Is this my number one shirt? Not really. Fits nice. Doesn't distort the video frame with all sort of, you know, sorts of stripes and checkerboard patterns and whatnot. <sighs> the thing is, I respect the crouch jump too much to be content to die there. If you respect the crouch jump, do it in one go. I really want to make a level <clears throat> themed around the crouch jump because it's one of my favorite uh, particularly like 8 and 16 bit Mario things is the is the crouch jump. 
Oh, I just ruined it for no reason, dude. That hurts. Um, it's the 8 and 16-bit slide crouch jump. Particular, you're gonna hate what I'm about to say. But, like, sliding into a crouch jump to get into a one-tile high spot. Everybody's favorite thing. I, I'm very surprised to hear people... I'm not surprised. I, it's not really the right word. I, I was interested to find that not everybody had the same Mario experience I did growing up, which I already talked about. But that they uh, they find like a jump into a two or three tiled high opening to be a little bit unfair. I disagree, but uh, depends what you want. That's why I boo car levels on site. I don't boo them, I skip them. Some people are like, don't, dude, I grew up with the car. How dare you? Car physics make no sense to me. I've been driving a real car for 14 years. Play F1. Play American Truck Sim. I play Spin Tires Mud Runner, or as I call it, Mud Runner. And the cars in Mario, they, I, they just don't make sense to me. They start like they're from a 1980s horror movie. You know, grung, 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 and then they just shoot at like 200 miles an hour. Well, I don't know, like for scale. I don't know how big a block is in Mario, but... Almost lost it there. You, you probably saw it on my face, a little bit of panic. Okay. Like, we got it. This is not a... In the... The whole scope of Austin's levels this is not really a difficult challenge. Um, it's, it's three intermediate challenges. Which makes it difficult to get all three of them in a, in a span. Much like it's difficult to get three... Uh, elements into a span in an HTML5 document. Well, not as it's more difficult to get your divs aligned properly. But anyway, we don't know about that because we're all using the freaking uh, Express JS these days, and the kids don't know how to align their elements properly. Again, blew it a little bit. I guess as you got me talking about. The, you know, mean stack web development, I just blew my top a little bit. I'm sorry. But this is mild frustration. You gotta remember, like, a lot of the frustration in 1.6 and 1.7 for me is compounded by the fact that you have no idea when it ends. So, like, I mean, I spent probably close to an hour... Actually, probably close to like an hour and 20 minutes on 1.7, not knowing what screen was the last. So it's like being at a bad restaurant that's serving a 10-course meal, but you don't know how many courses. You're like, oh my god, they're still bringing out salads? Maybe not that relatable of a metaphor. I mean, I go out to eat pretty often. Even I haven't had many 10-course meals in my life. That's a weird number. Okay, very bad. Very bad timing on the jump. This is a totally fine level, by the way. This is like, this is an Austin level level. And this is a, I would, you know, I definitely this is not on the same level as 1-6 season saws. In terms of difficulty, a little recency bias, probably making it seem a little bit more difficult than it actually is. But it's definitely, is not easy. This is about the level of Austin level that I like. And you can see, even on a in a microcosm like this, we're getting noticeably better. I saw it coming. I, as soon as I did a jump, I was like, oh, dude, you see the one X is like a micrometer away from the tape? I Gary, you shouldn't have died there. You should have just thrown your switch into the drink before it registered to the server because Austin's probably gonna He's gonna hold that on his resume for the rest of his life You probably gave him a dopamine hit the, the likes of which the human race has never seen before And I'm very for it Like this part is okay. Come on you get you want me to? Why don't you just start me here, dude? Because I mean, this is the only thing capable of killing a Mario master like me. Especially once I've finally finished my friggin' warm up, dude. 
I'm warming up. I want Austin to know his levels are so very good. I'm warming up. Can't sing any more of the song in a melody, cause YouTube's policy about copyrighted content could mean that we get shot first and ask questions later, baby. He's done it. Pretty easy. Can't can't complain. Speaking of micrometers. <laughs> Good level. No complaints, Austin. I'm gonna say one three, one two, one four, one one. And that's this is a ten, this is a nine point eight. They're all in there. All all fun levels. That's gonna do it for our suite of woofs this time. I will play two five. Cannonball Chaos. What's the I is I knew it! I was like that clear rate. 0.22%. On average, 500, well, 499 deaths per clear, more or less. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. We'll be back with Endless Expert next time. I'd love to check out my friend's levels. Dan told me not to check out his new level. He says it's not very, it's not to his standards yet. So I'll check it out when it's done. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It's a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!